Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Murphy Pina here. Welcome to learning how to drive your G2 exit. You're going for your G test, your final license test. All right, no restrictions. So we'll pretend this is our little office there. You just went inside. You gave them your license. You signed here, signed there, <clears throat> and now you're going to your vehicle in the back to wait for the examiner. So we're doing that. Walking all cool, you know, all nervous and stressed. Before you get there, make sure your brake lights work, make sure your signal lights work, make sure your horn works. If it's raining, make sure your wipers work. If it's snowing, make sure your wipers work. Make sure you have windshield washer, make sure your windows are defrosted, make sure there's no snow on your roof. All right? should be no snow on your car when you're ready for your test. Make sure all your lights are uncovered. If not, you're going to waste the examiner's time. He's going to make you do it when he gets to your car, so you might as well be prepared. All right? So, he's going to read to you the preamble again. He's going to ask you how many times have you been on the highway, which is an 80 kilometer road or more in the past 90 days. And you will tell them, and hopefully you practice. If it's 20 times, 20 times, 30 times, 30 times, 100 times, 100 times, just tell them an approximate accurate number, okay? If it's zero, tell them zero, all right? But hopefully if you're coming for your G test, it's not zero, all right? <clears throat> so medical questions, verify your identity, uh, get your signature and all that stuff. Now you're going on a highway test, so you're gonna go on the actual highway. It will be an approximate 30 minute test and hopefully you're prepared. All right, you parked forward. The examiner says when it's safe, I'm gonna back out to, and we're gonna go to your right. So in this case, we're gonna signal to the left. Our seatbelt won't be on. Well, personally, that's my choice. I'm gonna lean backwards. I'm gonna observe to the back like that and make sure there's no cars to the left, to the right and back up. And there you go. When it's safe, we're going to turn right. This is a crosswalk, right? So this is where you want to be. Pedestrians have the right of way and they have the right to not have their passage blocked. So even though it's a half crosswalk, it's still a crosswalk. So that's where you want to be. Save to the left, save to the right, let's go. You want to keep a safe distance from the vehicle in front of you at all times. Part of my steering there. See, that's why you don't want to be too close. Hmm, funky truck. Two lanes. We want to stay on the right side, right? Examiner is going to say, when it's safe to do so, I want you to change lanes. So we're going to signal to the left, check our mirror, check our blind spot, move over. <coughs> At this point, on your own, you want to come back into the proper lane. So you're going to signal to the right. You see up. You Let's go back up. Right? If ever you see a sign that the lane is closing, right? 
you need to take initiative, right? You're on your final test, you've been driving long enough. It's your responsibility of a driver to correct yourself. The lane is closing, okay? You don't wait for the examiner to tell you that the lane's closing. You know the lane's closing. You can see the, the signals, right? The markings clearly say the lane's closing. And that's why you don't stop in the middle of the highway. <laughs> All right, so we're approaching. Signal to the right. Check our blind spot. Everything's good. Over to the right. There you go. Without hitting other cars. This game gets weird when you're trying to do the speed limit. <clears throat> supposed to be a highway, it's the slowest highway ever. guys you'll never do that on a test you'll fail all right so we're driving and they'll say and it's safe to do so change lanes to the left so change lanes to the left signal blind spot go you notice lanes closing signal to the right check blind spot come back even if the lanes not closing you want to take initiative after a couple of seconds and come back to the right lane on your own because that is the lane that you are always supposed to be in okay so that's done okay it's getting awkward here I'm trying to do a road test so much traffic it sucks we're on the right change lane signal to the left blind spot check mirror check signal to the right blind spot check Move over to the right. <clears throat> I'm just trying to lose the traffic here so I can. Uh, boom! Accident. City driver. I want to find a highway. Uh, the highway's on the other side, that's why. Whoa! And you're allowed to have music during your test if you're asking. As long as you can hear the examiner properly and it doesn't distract you, put on whatever calms you. How do I change the music? What? I want to do that. It's happened. world all right I'm gonna skip this part in my actual video So you're on the highway, driving, driving, driving. Oh, shit, this is a weird highway. Okay, you're on the highway, driving. You're in the right lane at all time. When another new lane appears, you might move over to the right, especially if it doesn't close. Change lane signal to the left, check blind spot. Move over to the right signal, check blind spot. Move over to the left signal, check blind spot. Move over to the right signal, check mirror, blind spot. Move over to the right. Alright, this is what I want right here. 
Never do that on the highway, you'll die. You will die, no exception. <coughs> what I wanted, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's sweet. Oh, no, it's not. Shit. Ah, okay, there it is. All right. So technically, your G to exit is a mix between your G1 exit test, which you previously did, and your highway test. So you're going to do pretty much the same thing you did on your G1 exit. All right. And you're going to repeat it. The maneuvers are going to be similar. You will do a parallel park. You will do a roadside stop and you will do a three-point turn all right I don't think you do a hill park if I remember correctly all right so let's say we start here we did our G2 exit similar area of the test and now we're approaching <coughs> and they'll tell you all right when it's safe to do so we're gonna enter uh, the highway and they're gonna read out the sign they're gonna say we're gonna enter highway 2 east Del Perro Fairway, I think they call it in the US. All right, so you'll put your signal and go into the merging lane for the highway, and you're gonna turn off your signal once you're in the lane, and you're gonna merge. All right, so in this case, this is two lanes, so you're gonna signal, check mirror, check blind spot, and then go here. At this point, all right, right here, all right, even, yeah, let's say right over here. Highway speed in Ontario is 100 kilometers an hour, okay? It is your responsibility as a driver to enter the highway at traffic speed, all right? And if there's no vehicles, it is your responsibility to enter on the highway at 100 kilometers an hour, no lower than 80 kilometers an hour, all right? So you have to adjust your speed to enter the highway safely. Generally, vehicles in the right lane are gonna move over to the left lane to allow you to enter safely and freely, right? But there are some people out there who don't care. You know, they're in the left lane. They're completely oblivious that you're coming. They're not even paying attention to you. They're so distracted nowadays. They're so in the zone. They do the same road route over and over every day. They don't think about what they're doing anymore. Driving has become something that they do without thinking, right? Because it's a habit now. <clears throat> so, as a driver, at this point, you want to be almost this here. Imagine that this here is one lane, all right? Okay, so it's not two, it's one. The second you would get about here, all right, right about here, and you're straightened out, you put your signal to the left. Why? Because you want to let all the cars come in that can see you, that you are coming, you're merging, right? You're approaching the highway, coming in. And, but this gives you all this space ahead of you to merge safely at traffic speed. So if the highway is going at 110, sorry to break it to you, but they will not correct your speed for you. So you will merge at 110. Once you're on the highway, you will correct your speed back to the speed limit. So you're gonna do whatever it takes to merge safely and then correct your speed to the speed limit all right so here we go boom signals on as you're approaching here signal check blind spot say merge safely you stay in this lane turn off your signal keep going when it's safe to do so change lane blind spot signal come here and then on your own go back to the right signal check blind spot mirrors go back Turn off your signal. Don't remember. Don't forget to turn off your signal. So now we're driving. Traffic speed. And he might make you do it again when it's safe to do so. Change lane. Signal to check blind spot. Mirrors go. Of course, it's going to be a lot smoother than this and won't be as choppy. When it's safe to do so, move over to the right lane. Signal check mirror. Check blind spot. Move over to the right. Yay! You did that lane chain on your own. <clears throat> and then. 
you're gonna do the traffic speed once you have to do so I didn't see that till now so let's back up mm -hmm. That's not helpful. Come on, guys. Work with me here. I'm on a road test. So as they're approaching here, the examiner's going to say when it's safe to do so, we're going to take, uh, we're going to exit. I'm going to take the on ramp. All right. Onto Highway Four, Olympic Fairway. So you're going to the signal. Boom. Correct your speed to the speed limit. You're exiting when it's safe. Go west. Signal. Check your mirror. Blind spot. Go west. Turn off your signal. Mm -hmm. Pick far away. Don't do that. I'm just trying to see something. Emergency stop. Emergency stop. There you go. Signal to the right. Check mirror. Blind spot. Pull over to the right. At this point, right away, put your emergency lights on. Do, 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 do. All right. <clears throat> and put it in park. Don't forget your emergency brakes. All right, I just want to see where I'm at. I want to go here. All right, there you go. All right, when it's safe to do so, we're going to proceed. Turn off, take off your emergency brakes. Turn off your emergency lights, your four ways. Put the vehicle back in drive. Signal to the left, check your mirrors, check your blind spot, and proceed. And we're going to go to the right, signal, check mirror blind spot right. I'm not going to want to do that. <coughs> Excuse me. When it's safe, we're going to exit the highway. And as you exit, we will be turning right. So you're approaching here. Traffic speed, signal to the right, check mirror blind spot, move it to the right. What a, what a D bag. Stop, red light, crosswalk, right, we're gonna stop here. We're in Ontario, right? We're allowed to turn right on red light. Creep up, no cars coming, no pedestrians, there you go, safely. Boom, done, just like that. Red light, green light. Oops. Red light. Let's stop right about here. And can you proceed. It's green. Check both directions. Both hands on the wheel at all time, alright? Move over to the right signal. Check mirror blind spot. Boom. I'll check something here. Can I see my mirror? Yeah, I can. Ah, sweet. I should have done this all along. Alright, it's over here. Ah, oh, this is awkward. I'm not used to this. Alright, anyways. So here we have two options. <clears throat> We're going straight. Look left, right. Good, go. here because that's not where I want to be.
Come on. I don't know if I crashed through there. Let's try it out. Be limit five. I didn't even notice any speed limits. I need a car in here though, I don't know if I can order one. Mechanic, where's my car man? Come on. Give me my vehicle. Good I ain't got a more fucking day. Oh, I just cursed. I was trying not to curse. Sorry guys. You're gonna have to do it out for now. I get yeah. you. Ah, uh, kiss my bum. The car is anywhere, a car, whatever, anything, doesn't matter. I think there's a car over there, I'm not sure. I believe I can fly. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Oh, that didn't work out. <laughs> Come on, car anywhere. You know what? I got an idea. Is that a car right there? I think so. I believe it is a car. It's a vehicle, I see. <coughs> I think uh, I was wrong. Clearly, is that in the cart? Okay, it's not possible that there's not one single freaking car here. Come on, it's an airport. There's usually a shit ton of cars. Those little yellow strobe lights all over the place. If I punch someone in the face or something. I'm not the violent guy, you know, but how you doing, mister? Oh, that was a sucker punch of a century. Money? Come on, come on, man. Wake up! I'm do CPR on you. You know what always helps? Chopper? Really? That's ridiculous. I need a freaking chopper after me. Oh, I got my car. It's a cop car. Be prepared to go balls deep, man, because this is going to get ugly. <coughs> right here, asshole. trying to do I'm not trying to kill you I'm just trying to go for my road test man I just need a car oh, what the hell is that oh it's somebody Oh, I knew there was a 
रखा है हमने Alright. Now that the cops are not after me anymore. I never talk this much when my throat's all shot. Alright, let's go over here. Alright, still parallel park. Side of the road. Alright. Pull over, signal to the right, shoulder oh, technically you're here. Pull over to the right side of the road when it's safe to do so. You're going to do a three-point turn to signal, check your mirror, your blind spot, pull over to the side of the road. Mm. All right. Look left, click right, signal to the left, and double check quickly, no one. Crank your wheels all the way to the left. Like that, there you go. Stop. And then look behind you, nobody, reverse. Stop. And go. You always want to leave in your lane too. You don't want to leave in the wrong side of the road. <clears throat> so let's do an emergency stop, a roadside stop, they call it. Safe to do so, pull over to the right side of the road. We're going to do a roadside stop. Signal, mirror, blind spot, pull over to the right. Mm. We're stop. Put the vehicle in park. Park. Turn off your signal. Put on your four ways, which are your emergency lights. And don't forget your emergency brakes. And that's it. That is your four-way stop. Roadside stop. When it's safe to do so, we're going to proceed. Turn off your four-way lights. Don't forget your emergency brakes. Take those off too. Signal to the left. Check your mirror, your blind spot. And put in drive and proceed. Yay, safely. There you go. All right, let's go over here. Pull over to the right side of the road when it's safe to do so. I want you to do an uphill park with a curb. Imagine we're on a grade facing upwards. We're doing up a hill park. In this case, <coughs> the only hill park where your tires go to the left is when there's a curb and you're facing upwards. So left, uphill park with a curb. You want to be as close as possible to the curb. So it gets as close as possible on your initial approach if Possible, all right, boom, there you go. There you go. Then turn the wheels all the way to the left. If you want to, you can reverse it a little bit till your tires touch the curb. Put, your emergency, put, put it in park, put your emergency brakes on, and that's your uphill park with the curb. And you always want to be as close as possible to the curb for the simple reason that you don't want to impede the road, you don't want to impede traffic. So. This is a perfect example because the green within the yellow lanes, that is exactly where you want to, you would want to be if you're doing a hill park, roadside stop, and when you're approaching the side of the road to do your three-point turn, all right? You don't want to impede traffic, so you want to stay as close to the curb as possible so that the flow and traffic can keep going undisturbed by your vehicle. So when it's safe to do so, we're going to proceed. So take off your emergency brakes. Put the vehicle in drive, signal to the left, check your blind spot, check your mirror, and off we go. Turn off your signal. All right, this is also another, in some scenarios, the, so parallel park, but you won't have a vehicle to parallel park. You'll have either a, a concrete barrier or you'll have a, an imaginary car or a cone or lines or whatever. So in this case, we'll say I say parallel park. We'll say that this is a car right here. This is the back end of the car. So you want to be stopped right about here. Crank your wheels all the way to the right. Signal to the right. And move back up like that. And the yellow line is a car, so you don't want to hit it. If it's concrete, even less. It's so hard to do smoothly. And 
right? You want to park right about here. And there you go. On the curb, within 30 centimeters of the curb, and we're not impeding the flow of traffic. You want to leave yourself enough distance that if someone parks so close behind you that you can still get out without hitting the car in front of you. The car in front of us is the yellow line. So when it's safe to do so, we're going to proceed, signal to the left, check your mirror, your blind spot, check, crank your wheels all the way to the left. Okay, and let's say this happens where we're like so close to the car we think we're going to hit it. Crank your wheels to the right, reverse slowly, proceed, check your mirror, your blind spot, and go. Oh, there you go. <coughs> And now, when you're on your roadside test at about 100 kilometers an hour, they're going to ask you to do a 180 and then continue in reverse. So what you want to do is crank on the brakes like this, reverse, and now you want to go like that at 100 kilometers an hour. Okay, this is a professional test, and that, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> All right. If you guys have any questions, you know, I know it's it's hard to do on here, you know, because I'm, I'm not really on a road test, you know, it's, although it kind of gives you a, the realism in a sense, because during a road test, you know, you can't control traffic, pedestrians, cyclists, and those people are crazy a lot of the times, they do what they want and what not, so... You gotta account for that. You gotta keep that in consideration. That uh, even though it's a test, traffic can't be controlled. Neither can pedestrians, cyclists, and all that stuff. So obey the rules of the road. Relax. Be yourself. Try not to stress out. You know we're not there to fail you. We're there to we're there to examine your driving skills, and uh, that's it. You can do small talk if you want, if it doesn't, uh, you can do small talk if you want, if it doesn't uh, impede your driving skills or distract you too much. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Let's go. Let's try. Yeah. That's not property damage apparently. Come on, give me a break.
fuck happened here? Murphy Pina out. Peace out.